Okay, let's talk about circles. And we're going to be coming at uh, this uh, topic about circles in terms of conic sections. Okay, so if this little name right here or this is kind of like, you know, relates to you, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm studying that. Uh, then this should be kind of familiar to you. And you're like, well, what is this? Well, this happens to be the equation for a circle. Okay, we also call this analytic uh, geometry, but it's basically geometry where we use algebra to describe geometry. So this is pretty cool stuff. And this word here, conic sections, uh, relates to, I'm going to try to draw it right here. It's like a cone. Think of it like an ice cream cone, uh, maybe backwards like this. So, you know, hopefully I did pretty good. You think of this as a cone. And if I uh, slice, the, slice this cone different ways, if I slice it like so, I'll get one particular shape. You might get like an oval. Matter of fact, you will get an oval, and that's called an ellipse, right? If I, um, in this cone right here, this bottom is a circle. If I chop it parallel to the bottom of, of this cone, I'm going to get a circle. So you can end up uh, in a cone, all right? You can get different sections, different, it all depends on how I slice this cone. Um, and these sections are called conic sections, and you study them pretty thoroughly in classes. Uh, probably math levels at least Algebra 2, College Algebra, certainly pre-calculus. So if you're, you know, interested in this, you're probably in one of those courses, okay? So you're in the right place. Uh, this is definitely not something that you are going to be studying in probably like a uh, high school level geometry because this is analytic geometry. We're using algebra uh, to describe this. So we're going to uh, take a look at uh, two examples of working with the equation or formula for a circle. And uh, by the time you walk away from this video, hopefully you'll have a good little refresher on circles as they relate to conic sections. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get to it. Circles, conic sections, and this formula. So uh, basically, you know, if I had to give a description of what a circle is, be like, well, what is a circle? Well, it's like a round thing, right? And there's a lot of different ways we can kind of, um, you know, define it. But we're going to be working with this particular uh, formula. So again, uh, those of you who are watching this video are likely in one of those courses that I talked about, pre-calculus, Algebra 2, College Algebra, there's a ton of different courses out there. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the formula that we just saw. So this is the formula for a circle, okay, or equation of a circle, rather. And this is also an equation of a circle, okay? Now, this is an equation of a circle where the center of the circle is located at HK, the point HK. So like an XY point, right, on XY... Uh, graph, uh, this this would be the center. So here, this is the center HK, and R, okay, we have R squared. R is the radius, okay? This is the radius of the circle. Now, why do we have this more like simpler uh, formula for a circle? Well, this happens to be uh, the equation. It's the same equation, um, actually. If you look here, if I made H and K zero, I would have only X squared y squared, r squared, and that's what I have right here. So this is the equation of a circle centered at 0, 0, or the origin. Okay, so here is a representation of that. This is a circle, and here is the origin, 0, 0. And uh, r represents the radius. Of course, the radius is, you know, uh, this is the radius, this is the radius right there. It's emanating from the center, going out to any point, any x, y point on the circle. Okay, so this is um, how we want to interpret uh, the, these basic equations. Now, I'm going to give you two problems, one where we have this and one we have this. And there's a lot of variety of problems that you can uh, have when you're dealing with circles and conic sections. Um, but we're just going to start with the fundamentals here. Uh, if you are really studying this and you want more, you know, additional help, you definitely want to check out like my pre-calculus course. I get heavy duty into conic sections and all kinds of other good uh, advanced fun mathematics. But let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. Okay, so here is a circle. You can see it's uh, centered at the origin. 
and its radius is two. So I can come at it this, you know, a couple different ways, right? I could say write the equation of this circle. So you might say, oh, okay, this, uh, uh, you know, circle, its, its center is at zero, zero. So I'm going to use this equation, okay? Well, actually, we'd use x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now, here, if I'm saying the radius is two, okay, I would, could write this, you can see here I have the answer being four. I could say, all right, this is x squared plus y squared, that's equal to, let's just write it here, x squared plus y squared is equal to two squared, okay? Of course, two squared is the same thing as four. Now, that's if you were told to write the equation uh, you know, of this circle. Now, what if I gave you this equation, I told you to graph it. So if I said, okay, here's x squared plus y squared is equal to four squared. Now, if you're looking at this, you're saying, I don't have any hk here. This is clearly a circle that's going to be centered at the origin. So all you need to find is the radius. So what's the radius? Well, this represents r squared. Four is the same thing as r squared. So r squared is equal to four. Take the squared both sides. So r will be located at 2 and negative 2. Okay, so you can kind of see that starting from the origin. If I wanted just to plot this thing, I could put, okay, here's 2, here's negative 2, there's 2, there's negative 2. That's obviously my radius. This is my radius here, my radius here, radius, radius, radius. You know, you could see, you know, there's infinite radius. And then you would go ahead and sketch in your uh, circle that's centered at the origin going through these particular uh, locations. Of course, you could have other locations as well. Okay, any other x, y point on that circle. All right, so hopefully this is making sense to you. So again, you could be given what well, you will be given, you know, in your courses uh, equations, and you'll be told to graph, or you might take the graph and be told to build the equation. All right, let's take a look at um, a little bit more involved version of these circle problems. And this is where the center is not at the origin. And this is where students get a little bit confused, but it doesn't have to be that confusing. So here is my graph. You can see I have a circle, okay? Its center is at negative three, two, and its radius is four. So, you know, if you're kind of gonna sketch this out, you know, you would go negative three, two, you know, try to be as accurate as possible, put your little center there, then draw your circle. And when you're doing these sketches, uh, you know, you don't have to be perfect, uh, not at all. You don't have to use, you know, graph paper and, you know, like a compass and whatnot. That's nice, but that takes too much time. But you do want to try to make your graphs as accurate as possible so your teacher, you know, ha uh, can interpret that, yeah, you have a sense of the scale of things that are going on. But let's take a look at this equation. Let's say I was given um, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 16, okay? Now, this is the graph of that, but let's, let's say you were asked to graph this, okay? All right, now, I'm asked to graph this uh, circle. So you recognize it as a circle because it's an x squared, a y squared, and 16. And as you study uh, additional conic sections, which would include parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas, okay, uh, you'll be able to recognize um, uh, the differences between the two, okay, and uh, that gets it gets fairly involved. But anyways, you'll be able to see. Oh, I'm dealing with a circle. It's clearly not centered at the origin. So step number one is to figure out where the center is at. Okay, so the center is going to be that H K uh, point. Okay, so now we need to understand or go back to our general formula for circles. So that's X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Now let's just look here, okay, what is H, where's H and uh, K? What does it match up with my equation here? So you can see this three, that plus three is where, that lines up with H, that's what H is. And then my K is two, okay, and my H here is a positive three, and then R squared is 16. All right, now, anytime you have uh, the addition sign, like x plus 3 or y plus 5, you have to think of this x minus h and y minus k like this, all right? So we can't really see this, see it clearly, what our h value is here. So we have to write this as x minus, okay, because the formula is x minus h. So we want x minus h as well, but the, the value here is x plus 3, so this is going to be x minus a minus 3. That's how we kind of solve that, because x minus a minus 3 is, in fact, x plus 3. So this is equivalent, 
Okay, these two are equivalent, but I want to write it in this way because now I can clearly see that my h is negative 3. Okay, and over here, k, you can uh, clearly see it's 2. All right, so I want h, k. So here, my negative 3 is h, and my k value is 2. Not negative 2, just 2, right? Because that's what the formula is. y minus k, x minus h. Okay, I just want the h, I just want the k. And once I have that, I have my center, okay? Now, here, r squared is 16, all right? So r squared is equal to 16. So to get uh, r, just take the square root of both sides, so then my radius would be 4. So I've got a radius of 4. Here is my center. I, I go ahead and plot my center, and then I go ahead and sketch a circle with the radius of 4. You know, I'm keeping in mind, uh, you know, trying to make my circle proportional uh, to the scale that I'm using, okay? So again, you could be given this graph, all right, and say build the equation, okay, or uh, have the equation of the circle and produce the graph. You're going to have to do both. All right, so these are two basic examples to get you going with uh, conic sections and circles. And, you know, you can get more sophisticated problems, but, you know, you want to first make sure you understand uh, the fundamentals, okay? So if this video in some way was a good little quick review for you, definitely consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.